Hi, today we're going to compare three types of mics for recording electric guitar. Uh, we have a dynamic mic, uh, SM57, and then we have a large tube condenser mic, uh, which is a Peluso 2247 LE. And uh, also we have a ribbon mic, uh, which is a biodynamic M160. Uh, I, I usually use dynamic mics because I'm playing really, really loud. Uh, but if you back out the, uh, the mic, just let's say one foot from, from the amp, you can, you can use a large condenser as well. So, so, so that's basically not the, not, not the reason to, uh, to not use large condensers. Uh, the reason why I'm not using them is, is that it's, uh, it's just a hassle. It's more, more things to connect. Uh, but uh, today we're going to check out, maybe it pays off. It, it, it certainly brings out a, a whole lot more of, uh, of what is going on in the amp. It's, uh, it's truer to the, uh, to the actual sound. I'm going to play a 1975 Gibson Flying V through a 1983 Marshall 4010 JSM-800, which is the, the 112 version of, of uh, the 2204 master volume head. Uh, the original G1265 speaker has been replaced with the 1971 G12H30 55Hz screenback. Uh, and and, and many, usually when I, when I play uh, weaker speakers with big amps, many will say, won't it break then? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm using the master volume to, to, and, and sometimes attenuators to, to, uh, to back it off a bit. And, and so, so here too, this is... Uh, well, it's like a large uh, talking volume, kind of like a party here, because I'm recording it at home. Uh, so otherwise, you shouldn't, shouldn't take a 50 water and, and put put it through a 30 water. Then you're gonna then you're gonna break the speaker. All right, let's compare these three mics now. I want to know what you think. Let's go.